there and welcome. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm Peggy and today we're going to do some things about summertime cookouts and that's something we all love and enjoy with our family and friends and Marie Hagler is here and Marie is a food safety and nutrition specialist and she comes to us by the graciousness of Clemson University. Hello, Marie. Hello. Thank you for coming. It's and we've got this great cookout folder. And of course, it's yours free for the asking. Well, you've got some terrific stuff today. I do. Ooh. We've got all kinds of, yes, it's, it's, it's about summertime and the flavors of summer. So we're gonna do like a, a light version of a summer cookout. And I'm gonna start with a salad of sorts. I'm gonna okay. make a tomato, cu cucumber, couscous salad. Oh, that sounds different. Yes, and All so right. I turned, um, I've got a pot of water on. Okay. It's about a cup and a quarter of water. And couscous, have you ever had couscous? Oh, sure. So couscous is, um, is a staple of Northern African cuisine, I think. Um, it's a grain and it cooks really fast. So once and you it's bring- it's good for you. And it's good for you. <laughs> so once you bring water to a boil, you add the couscous and then you take it off the heat and you set it aside for five minutes and it's done, you oh. fluff it. But we're gonna add some flavors this, to this it. This water isn't boiling, I'll tell you. Yeah, we, I just turned it on, so oh, we'll just- Oh, I was gonna say. We'll see, we'll get to, oh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully right. it will. Okay. I think it's all. Okay. So what we're gonna add to this water while I bring it up to a boil is we're gonna add some mint to this salad and we're gonna add the mint stems to flavor the couscous. So I'm gonna drop that in there, like mm. so. Um, and we're also gonna add some lemon peel. Okay. So the zest of a lemon, we're just gonna peel off big chunks of it though, cause I'm gonna take it out. So this is just gonna flavor the water for the couscous. So just about four big strips. So that, lemon. that gives it the flavor. It's going to give it some yeah. flavor. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon, or a tablespoon, excuse me, of extra virgin olive oil. How, how much water do you have in there? I have a cup and a quarter. Okay. One and one fourth cup. And that's going to help the couscous to not stick together. So we just put a little oil in there so that when it's done, it's easy to fluff. I'm going to stick this on there and we All can right. bring it to a boil quickly. Um, so I just used the zest of the lemon, but I'm also going to use the juice as a little dressing for the salad. So I'm just gonna put this in the bowl. Uh, would you consider this a side dish or would you consider it almost like a meal? Um, th I'm using it as a side dish, but you could but definitely you could? use it. Yeah, you could even add chicken to it if you wanted to. Or... Oh, okay. And I, have a I have a towel right here I can use. Here, wait a minute. Thank you, I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'm gonna grab that towel. All right, so I'm using the juice of one lemon. Then I'm gonna add the tomato and cucumber. So I've got these seeds. This is here. such a pretty colorful folder. I love this. All right, let's see you where know, we're at. You know, we get at. tired of the same old just lettuce yeah. and tomatoes, you know. It's yes. nice to do something different. Let's heat that up. All right, so we've got one juice of one lemon right there. And I'm gonna add, this is a about a pint of tomatoes, little cherry, grape, whatever kind of tomato you like. And I went ahead and halved them, so I'm gonna add that to this So they're bowl. like bite-sized pieces. Little bite-sized yeah. pieces. Um, and now I'm gonna add a cucumber, and I have a English cucumber. This has a little bit of a smaller seed, and it also has a thinner skin, so I kinda like to use that for this kind of scenario. And I'm just gonna quarter this. Make some little slices. We're gonna also add some salt to this, which is the only time I'm gonna add salt. So I might, I'm gonna, it's gonna seem like a lot, but it's once it gets mixed with the couscous and everything else, it's gonna be. Cause you don't usually use a lot of salt. I don't I usually, yeah. <coughs> so I'm gonna add this. Let's see where that water's at. And you just, you didn't even peel it. I did didn't it? peel it there. That skin on that. Is it, so, yeah, it's, it's starting to boil. There. It's almost there. Once I get this done. Drop the couscous in. Yeah, the skin on this one is pretty thin, so it's not is so it tough. Is it better to, to leave the peeling on? Well, there's gonna be fiber in the peel, but it's just a preference thing. Um, just like apples, mm -hmm. the fiber is in the peel, but if you just particularly don't care for it, then there's other stuff in a cucumber that makes yeah. it worthwhile. 
Well, it adds color as well. Yes, ma'am. All right, so there now we've is. got it. So all I'm going to do is add, and this is a cup of just plain couscous, whole grain couscous. And I'm going to move it over here. You don't have to stir it up? I'm going to stir it. One little touch. Yes. Like so. Ooh, that's a squeaky sound. And I'm going to turn this eye off. Be careful with that eye. It is hot. It's hot. There. Okay. Then you just put the lid on there, and then in five minutes, forget it. It'll be done. All right. So while that's working, so we just have cucumbers oh, okay. and tomatoes. Now you've got, um, now wait a minute, you've got the tomatoes cut into bite size. Yes, ma'am. And the cucumbers. Oh, yes, ma'am. And, and the lemon juice. And the lemon juice, and that's it. And that's it. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Just a little bit of kosher salt. I do like a half teaspoon to a teaspoon. We're going to let that just sit and be merry. This would serve quite a, quite a few people, wouldn't it? It would. Um, and yeah, it would serve about six. Depending upon eight, yes, what else you have. Exactly. So the next things I'm going to add to this, so we're going to add that couscous once that's done. But I'm All also right. going to add some mint. So I used the mint stems and threw them in there. But before I threw those in there, I took the leaves off of it. And to chop up mint, an easy way to kind of you could just tear up pieces of mint if you wanted to. You could just crumble it up. But I like to kind of make it more fine than that. So I roll up. I stack the leaves up and I roll them. And then I run my knife through it like that, making little ribbons. That makes it a little finer, doesn't it? it yes, ma'am. And I actually will go another step and I'll kind of make it a little bit finer of a cut. And then I'm just going to add that to this as well. I'm going to add a little bit more mint. And Marie, what would you serve, I always ask the experts, what would you serve this with? If you've made this big salad uh, and you wanted, it wouldn't be your whole meal, what would you suggest? Well, since we're doing a summer cookout theme, I'm going to do it with burgers. Okay. So I'm going to make hamburgers with it. But you could grill chicken would be really good with okay. it. Okay. Any all, kind of grill. It would almost go with anything. Yeah. Steak, chicken. Um, whatever you want to grill up. It's just a nice little fresh, light salad. And then you have, you have vegetables in it. You've got your grain. So it's sort of a one-hit side. That's good. All right. So that's about a quarter cup of chopped mint that I threw in there. And then I threw the mint stems in there. And then we have a juice of one lemon, and I threw the lemon rind in there. Okay, and now, now we have just oh some boy, here we go. big spring onions or green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to throw that. This is going to just give it a nice mild onion flavor. It's not too overwhelming with onion. So I'm going to use the, the whole thing. I'm going to use the whole thing. Because I think most people cut off those tops. Yeah. I'm going to use the red and the green. I mean the red and green. The green and the white. So we're just going to add that to it. Some dirt in that one. All right. Now I'm going to stir this together. So that was about two green onions. And it's so colorful. It is. Really, that's nice. All right. Well, we're going to check on couscous and see where we're at with that. All right, let's peek in and see what's happening with the Be careful, couscous. it might be hot. How oh is yeah, that? it looks like it's about done. I'm gonna move it over towards me. Well, it's still hot, be careful. Okay. All right. So, and then the last thing, once we put this couscous in, last thing we're going to put in is just some oil, and then it's going to be done. So it's a super simple dish. The main thing with this that would be time consuming is just chopping up the stuff. Yeah. But otherwise, it's easy. And then what you do after that is you're, you're going to remove these, this part of it. So the, the, the lemon rind, the um, stems of the mint, because you just have that. I mean, you could leave it in there if you wanted to as like a treat. So I can 
win this the prize. Makes, it gives it the flavor. Yes. Gives it a nice little... So it's the carry over the flavor that we're about to put with it in there. And then you just fork it like that. See how fluffy it is? And it's ready. It's ready. No time. And you can serve this. I'm going to throw it in there hot. but And you can cool it down if you want to, but it's good just once you so throw you it in there. So you add this to the salad. So to me, that's like a, a one-meal dish It can almost. be, yeah, sure. So I'm going to add this. The couscous would be a, would that be a protein? No. Added? No? It would just be, well. I guess not. No. I was going to say, I was trying to think if you had maybe some beans in there, you could have a full uh, vegetarian type of protein. That is really lovely. So you just mix all this stuff together. And you didn't have to cool that no, before you, you put it in there. Nope, you just throw it in there. I mean, you can let it cool, and you could let this all, but I like it warm. I think it tastes good warm at room temperature. Whatever, however, I think it's just as good any way you want to have it, really. So. Okay, now, if you wanted to, say, say you're having a cookout, say you're having you know, chicken on the grill or hamburgers or whatever, you could make this ahead of time? Yes, and then just throw it. You could put it in the refrigerator, and it's good cold as well. So it would be okay either way? Either way, yeah. Oh, I like that. Look how colorful that is. I, I've, when I first make it, I eat it warm, and then I put it in the refrigerator, and the leftovers <laughs> cold. So. Okay. Now, look, let me just show. Marie has brought this lovely summer cookout, and it's yours free. And we'd love to share these recipes with you, thanks to Marie and Clemson. And if you could send us a self-addressed stamped envelope that saves us so much time and send it to the Peggy Denny Show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602. And the recipe number is 860-860. And we will put it in an envelope and send it to you. And this is great summertime food. And it's good for you. Now, we're going to take a quick break and come back. And, Marie, you have something else? We're going to make some burgers, and then we're going to make a berry lemon trifle. Ooh, okay, we don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. <laughs>